Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, this is part three, and guys, we are going to be testing this with a Delta Pro. We'll give you some feedback, but we did part one, which was our full review. We did part two, which was the testing after some amazing feedback from our subscribers. And now this is part three. So let's see how this does with a Delta Pro power station. Let's get going. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. So guys, we are on the part three of this video with the EcoFlow. 220 watt by facial solar panel now we came out with a part two because you guys gave us so much feedback on testing and all that we we actually had mirrors and we had you know aluminum foil and we tried everything but we were using a delta mini and we got feedback that a delta pro might be better because they can handle more amps and this panel produces more amps so Today, we're going to go ahead and retry it connected to a Delta Pro to see if we actually get more wattage reflecting in the back of the panel, right? You got the front wattage and then you got the back wattage. So let's check this out. Let's see how it goes. Part three, here we go. So the panel is set up the 220 by facial and we have our mirrors here and we have our reflectors we're going to use these two for part three and keep it simple plug this guy in let's check our angle real quick and then we're just going to leave it that way but we got the solar angle finder and we'll put it on and again this is not as straight right now you know so we'll try our best um, that's pretty darn good though so I hope it stays that way because that's almost dead center we're gonna leave it that way it's plugged in let's check our wattage and see what we're getting so far without anything Wow okay 177 watts with nothing 176 Wow it's insanity I don't know what we're going to be able to do, but let's find out. It is connected to the Delta Pro. So there you go. We got coverage on both sides. Again, if you just move these, you can kind of tell where that is, all right? So we got coverage on both sides. Let's go check this out. 184 watts. That's pretty cool. That's just the mirrors. This is a Delta Pro, so it can handle more amps. Wow, 184. Mirrors are removed. Let's check the wattage now. Drop to 171 right now. Let's try the reflectors. 171. Let's try the reflectors. Reflectors are set up. Again, they make a difference. They really do. So we'll check this out and see now. 188. The square reflectors that cost the least are the best option 188 watts out of a 220 watt panel love it love it so here's some technical information and i'll try my best to explain it when you're connecting a single panel to one of the power stations you need to make sure you're aware of the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current those two things because those two things are going to apply when you connect it to the appropriate power station now in part two we use the 220 watt bifacial panel with the delta mini 
and we only saw 175 watts at most coming from the panel. And we were, we were like, why? We tried all these reflectors and we, we didn't know why. Now, if you look at the Delta Mini, it, it maxes at 10 amp short circuit current. And the panel can produce up to 13 amp. So we were really limiting it without worrying about any damage, by the way. There was going to be no damage. It just maxes out at 10 amps, the Delta Mini. In today's test, we tried the Delta Pro, and that maxes out at 15 amp. And that is why we saw as high as 188 watts. And I think best case, I mean, that really is almost the best case scenario for a 220 watt bifacial panel. So again, the Delta Mini maxed out at 10 amp. The Delta Pro maxes out at 15 amp. And the solar panel can produce up to 13 amp short circuit current. That is the reason why we saw a better performance out of that panel into the Delta Pro. I hope this helped. And the winners, these are like 40 bucks. I put the clamps on and they did the best, 188 watts. You know, I'm using chairs for now and I'm just kind of connecting them this way on the side rail there, but really cool. I'll tell you to light up that back. Does a really good job. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.